The navigation of your page has also changed. The tabs used to be at the top of the page, but now they've moved those tabs to the left-hand side underneath your photo, just like the personal profile. I'm actually really excited about this change. At first, I thought, well, they're hiding the tabs, but I do agree that if all the profile page, all the per personal profiles have their tabs in a certain location, then it, it can't hurt and might even help to have the fan page tabs in the same locations. It just becomes intuitive for the user at that point. But more importantly, you, you are now able to arrange and hide your tabs and actually, uh, let me show you. It, it's kind of exciting. So let's come on down here. So there's your tabs and you're probably thinking, well, gosh, uh, nobody's really going to take notice, but we never before had the um, opportunity or the chance to change the order of our tabs. If you, hold on, I'm going too quick. So right beneath all your tabs on the left navigation, click on more. All your tabs will show up. Then you want to click on edit. And then as you hover over each one, first you're going to see these X, the X. If you're to click on an X, it'll say hide YouTube. So I can click on hide YouTube. Okay, so it's it's uh, hidden. Now you also can change the arrangement of your tabs. So now I had top words. I don't even know what that app is. Because, uh, you know, unfortunately on our old fan pages, we just added apps. We didn't think about it because we had most of them hidden. Um, and we used to really have to do some shuffling around to get desired tabs up top. So this is much better. Uh, so again, you could just hide the ones you don't want to um, see and just rearrange these all over the place. Now, what makes me excited is this is what I envision. Let's say you want to have, I think there's six tabs, five tabs that you can control and arrange and hide this, that. There's a total of six, but one's the wall. So you're not going to be able to do anything with that. But the other five, what if you were to create four custom tabs and maybe it's a training series or it's a step. I mean, just you could really create a fun, easy, intuitive navigation of your tabs for your visitors. So um, again, and you're going to want to really get creative with your titles. So that's what I want to show you. But I want to show you something else because you're probably thinking, well, great, you hit YouTube. Now I want YouTube back in. It's real easy. All you do is you come up to your edit page, go to your apps, and then let's go down to YouTube. Okay. And then you just go back in, you click on the edit settings, and then it's saying tab available. We can just add that tab right back in. Okay. So um, if you have any questions, let me know.